Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mari server. I'm here to do a video on the new chain slash update events. All right, new talent is coming, guys. I'm super excited for this one. This event is actually really easy, but it can be kind of confusing with the wording. So let's go ahead and cover what you guys need to know. All right, let's do this. All right, first things first. If you guys go to the Mabinogi website, you'll see a new website setup thingy butter here. That says Chain of Destruction, Mabinogi! And uh, they got some uh, little bits of uh, cinematic trailers here, so let's take a look at this. So here's kind of the introduction for the new talent. Uh, the poor, poor kid running away from the trolls. What the heck is he doing in Skathatch Beach anyways? But anyways, <laughs> here is the introduction. Uh, you can see that the skills are rather uh, sneaky. Look at that. They can't even see who's fighting them. I think that's not really part of the skill, but it's really just a focus on the chain blades here. And I'm super happy to see this um, new talent. And uh, the main reason why is that this talent actually focuses heavily on... Yep, that's right, luck. So I'm actually super lucky, or hope. What am I saying? Lucky. Super happy that I can finally add some more luck to my character. This class also adds a bit of a dexterity as well. So for all you archers out there that want more dex, go for this talent as well. But I'm kind of eyeing on the luck here, guys. It's a nice looking talent. And uh, it's, it's literally your character swinging around a whip, so it's like... Like, how can you not deny something great as this? <laughs> so that is the new um, talent that uh, just got added. Alright, let's check out some other stuff on this webpage here. Mm -hmm -hmm. A little bit of storyline stuff, perhaps, when it comes out. I don't know. So here are some of the, or all of the, uh, new skills that's going to come out with the talent. I literally have no idea <laughs> what they're going to be about. So when it does come out, let's cover it then. There are some new blades that you guys will be able to obtain, so that's kind of neat too. Check it out. With this event, you can probably get some of them, so you might want to do this event right now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, some of the stuff, talking about the um, talent. And, oh, yeah, here's the event stuff. Here we go. That's what we want to look at. Event thingies. Let's take a look. So as you can see, there are several new events, not just one. The first one here is called the Chain Slash Developer's Note event. Super easy, you gotta talk to Caravan Joe, like always. And you're gonna have to do a special daily mission in Tara and Talti. Now don't get mistaken, this is not your average regular daily or VIP shadow missions. It's completely different. It is not related to your actual shadow mission daily, so keep that in mind. You need to obtain a total of 13 memos to complete the new talent notebook that you're going to receive from Caravan Joe. And um, as you collect the memo, you'll be granted a skill training seal for that respective skill on the memo. So good stuff to get if you guys are going to be working on the new talent. You're also going to get some combat EXP potions as well as some golden experience fruit for doing this event. So another bonus. The other event is super easy. Uh, it's called the Chain Reaction Event, and all you gotta do, again, register your main character at Caravan Joe in Dunbarton. And once you've done that, all you gotta do is log in every day until the release of the new Chain Slash talent. Uh, all you gotta do is just, yeah, just log in, get a coin. When you log in, you're gonna get a coin, and... Um, after the release is out, you can use a coupon that you are given, and based off of how many coins you have, um, it will determine your reward tier. So you can see right here, there's several tiers, uh, well, the one, two, three, four, and five. Um, so if you have only, let's say, uh, one coin right here, you only get to get tier one rewards. You can see it's not that much stuff. So two coins, tier two, three, tier three, and so on. So you want to log in every day, and this event is not too long, so you can't really miss more than, I would say, one day, I believe, um, to get the highest tier reward. So you 
can see here, the highest tier reward will grant you the Cardinal Gratitude Chain Blade, a Rebirth Potion, Double Chain Slash Skill XP, AP Potion, Chain Slash Talon Training Seals, so it's best reward stuff. The last event here is called the Tomorrow's Gift Box. This is one of the confusing events. I know some of you guys are kind of like, how does this work? Uh, so, first off, you're going to have to log in consecutively for three days. If you haven't done that, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> That's the hard truth. Um, next, you have to basically uh, log in. You're going to get a Tomorrow's Gift Box, and you have to open the box before December 14. Otherwise, you won't be able to get the reward. You also need to use the box to upgrade the box. Now this one should have been highlighted in red, in pure red, because I think the most common mistake people are doing right now and they've been asking me is, Bobo, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to open the box because it says, you know, wait till tomorrow. But did you know you have to actually use the box first in order to get the tomorrow box? Uh, so basically the box can only be upgraded during these dates from the 9th to the 11th. Not a lot of time here, guys. That's why I said if you haven't logged in consecutively for three days, you're kind of screwed with the upgrading process. And next, again, they did point it out again for the second time. You have to use the box at least once. There's going to open a pop-up menu and show you all the NPC stuff, but I'll show you guys that all later uh, so you guys don't get confused with my talking. But here is the rewards you guys can get. Tomorrow's gift box, day one, day two, and day three. You want to get day three because that has the most best rewards, but you have a chance of getting a tomorrow's day box, um, day three, sorry, in day one, if that's confusing. You can open day one and hopefully get a day three, so you don't have to wait and upgrade through that whole entire process. Same thing for gift box day two. So um, just take a look at the list here because this is probably the best list to go by. If you try to talk to Caravan Joe and ask for the list, he's going to give you like kind of like a meh list. The Tomorrow Gift Box Day 3 will guarantee you the Midas Touch secondary title. That's kind of why I said you guys might want to go for the Day 3 box because of the title. It's not really a great title, but hey, you know, it's alright. There's also the Celtic Howling Chain Blade coupon in this gift box. So probably the best chain blade you can get so far in the game might want to get this um, box just for that and that's the entire list of events guys uh, super easy to do you know now that I just kind of run down it there's also some other side events going on that I kind of want to mention um, it's irrelevant to the chain slash but sort of it's all this December and January monthly events. You can see a lot of stuff happening on Thursday. I suggest you guys take advantage of this because then you guys can change your look for free on certain days. You can also change your talent to a better talent that costs you actual money on these days. So just take a look at the calendar and see what you guys can do. There's also a uh, little reward you guys can get on December 25th, Christmas Day, a little headband thingy, some other rewards on the weekends, lots of stuff going on, a title, so just kind of look at this calendar and see what you guys can get. There is a chain slash talent box on one of the weekends there, so, you know, look at that. And a bunch of other boost weekend boosts you guys can do for this entire December, and also carrying on to January. So yeah, lots of little events. I really suggest you guys do the Ace Talent Rebirth if you don't spend money in the game, because Ace Talent will give you some extra goodies. Alright, so let's get started with this event. First event is the one with the dailies. We talk to Caravan Joe in Dunbarton Square. He's pretty much next to the bank-ish, sort of. And he is going to give you a daily quest you have to do. Uh, it's a special daily quest, so it's not your original daily quest that you guys will see. You'll see that it'll say special on the board separate from VIP and your actual daily mission. Now I know uh, the website says that you have to talk to him every day. You actually don't really have to talk to him every day. Once you log in, you will get the quest automatically. Once you've complete the mission, you will receive a memo. Uh, the memo is going to look like this huge note or even a tiny note. You're also going to get some AP potions and you basically just right click and use the note so it goes directly into your book. And that's all it is, guys. That's all you gotta do. You gotta do two dailies, Taltine and Tara, and you're done. Uh, special dailies, just keep in mind, as I said, they're special dailies. 
Once you've consumed the memo into the book, you'll see that it kind of goes in like this little list here where you guys can view the skill that you consumed. And it's going to tell you guys about the talent skill, and that's actually kind of useful, you know. Again, the memo can be one by one, so if you guys can't find it, it's probably really small. Next, the next event, super easy. Talk to Caravan Joe in the other side of Dunbarton Square in the center, and he's going to be like, yeah, you the main person, you want to do this event? And you can be like, yeah, yeah. And then he's going to give you a coupon as well as a coin. The coupon, you can't really do anything with it until the release of the chain slash talent, and the coin, you just get one every day. Again, amount of coins determine how much tier your reward is going to be. Next, the tomorrow gift box. Remember to use the box. This is something that a lot of people got confused about and got worried. It's like, I don't want to use it now, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. No, you're going to have to actually right click and use the box first. So right click use the box, it's going to open this little window here and then you're going to have to actually click on open the box. Yes, you have to open the box guys, just open it. Trust me, trust. So click on open the box and it's going to say what you're going to get. So it's actually going to tell you what you're going to get first before you decide whether you want to take it or wait until tomorrow's gift box. So here it's saying like, yeah, you're going to get an albanite stone. I'm be like, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> So instead, I have the option to choose to receive tomorrow's gift box where it says open again tomorrow. So that's what you want to click on for tomorrow's gift box day two if you are starting with day one. Uh, and after that, he's going to give you a gift box day two box. And yeah, you guys cannot open it. If you try to open it, it's just going to say like, sorry, you can only open one box a day. Derp. So um, that is uh, how this event works. You just kind of open it look at what you may get and then either receive it because you might actually get the box day three if you're lucky and that's it next day just open it again for day uh, box two and it's going to do the same thing it's gonna say like hey today you're gonna get dun -dun -dun -dun. and it's kind of like a little gatch upon feeling the way i like it <laughs> um and then after that, you can just say like, ah, forget it, open it again tomorrow. There is no day box four, guys. So <laughs> don't, you know, think that there is going to be an even better reward after that. So if that's what you want to do for this event before it is over, just kind of uh, cross your fingers and hope you get a great reward. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching my video. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Good luck to all those people doing this event. Super easy stuff, guys. And looking forward to the new talent, of course. Again, thanks you guys for watching. And like always, guys, stay awesome.